What's up, guys? Oh, man, I'm disappointed. Very disappointed. Let me show you what happened. What do you see there? Big old hole, don't you? <laughs> motherfucker. Motherfucker, motherfucker. Big ass hole. I just had rebuilt that damn motor. I was afraid though the crank, uh, the crank had galled all over it. And uh, mom said, we can't afford a new crank. So I cleaned it up best I could. <sighs> I guess we should have got a crank too though. Now I ain't got no motor at all. I had that something's running good. I don't know. I'm so sick of building motors and working on them. I could scream. Because all I got to work with is shit. Everything around here is old junk. I'm trying to make something work out of it. Damn new, damn new motor like that costs about 350 bucks. I just ain't got it. That's the only way to... Be sure that oh, the damn thing would, because I wouldn't turn it about 3,500 RPM. Uh, I got a tachometer right there, just to be sure, because I was not gonna blow it up this time. Oh, fuck! I had this thing nice, man. I had her nice. I was almost done with it, almost. That's life. Sucks. Kicks you in the ass and ain't nothing you do about it. Later, guys. I'm sick. I gotta go cool off. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but I got a big old hole in my motor. It ain't pretty. Uh, I believe what happened was, because I wasn't doing anything wild this time to cause anything to happen, uh, I believe what happened is last time when I blew the motor up, it galled the... Uh, uh, galled it on the crank real bad and we couldn't afford to get another crank at the time so we got the other parts we needed but we couldn't get the crank and so we uh, just cleaned it up good and you know and I I mic'd it and everything and everything seemed okay so we thought we'd be all right but undoubtedly that's because it's the same thing happened again and I wasn't even getting on it uh, undoubtedly the it was it was a uh, it wasn't knocking or anything so it wasn't too loose but it might have been too tight uh, Y'all like, like my electric lift I put on this thing? Pretty neat, ain't it? Uh, it, it might have been too tight. And if it was too tight, then that's probably what happened. Uh, Gall it up again. And, uh... So then, it, it got hot and the rod snapped. And I didn't know it was happening at the time. I, it, just, it just right out of the blue just popped. So, me and Mama's talked about it. We're tired of messing around with these bits and I was going to take the motor off this generator here I got this motor here it's 10 horsepower power mate 10 horsepower motor Tukomsky I hate Tukomsky's but uh, sometimes it's, all you, it's what you gotta do if it's all you got and uh, I was gonna to try to put that on there because I'm pretty sure that's a good motor I got two of them it would have been close to what I had but uh, mama says quit farting around with all this used stuff and just just buy a new motor uh, but but we're gonna get when I say new motor I mean the cheapest possible Amazon motor you I mean uh, cheapest possible eBay motor you can get from China. <laughs> I think I think one just like mine a 420 cc 15 horsepower motor 224 dollars. So how good it's gonna be is anybody's guess. Just have to take care of uh, baby it for a while to see how it's gonna do before I start raw hiding it. But at least I'll have some spare parts, like I've got a set of rings over here already and a bunch of gaskets and stuff like that for, the, for that motor. I've got uh, a good piston and a good crank and, uh, I mean camshaft, crank ain't no camp. So, you know, i got a few parts. I, and uh, now this motor that I'm getting, it ain't going to have no electric start. Uh, that's one reason it's a lot cheaper. Uh, but 
it's the same. You, you can put an electric start on them. Mine, the electric start is on mine. I'll just pull right off and I'll stick it right on there. I'll just have to cut me a hole at all. So, good there. Uh, I checked out my 8 horsepower motor that, uh, that I did have on it before this. It, said it was no generator motor. A very old one, I mean. Actually, I had three. And most of them wasn't no count. But I pulled all the parts out of all of them and I used the best parts and made one. And, and I, it's got this knock to it. And I thought it was the valves clicking. But it wasn't. It's, I, pulled the, I pulled the cam and all out and the lifter so it couldn't be that. I mean, you know, so and listen to it then. And still you can hear it. Listen. And there's nothing in that motor right now except for the, the, the crank and the rod and piston. Okay, and so the rod, it's right here at the top dead center or bottom dead center where it makes that crossover. You can hear that little bit of... And when you run it pretty fast, it gets pretty damn loud. And so I'm afraid if I put that back on there, it'll, it'll just blow. So I'm tired of working on this damn thing, guys. I'm ready to ride it, some bitch, and not work on it. No, oh, it's aggravating. I work on it for two or three days, non-stop, get it going, and sometimes I ride it 20, 30 minutes before it blows up. Sometimes I ride it maybe a day or two before something happens to it. Just like the other day, I, I took it, I, I, I worked on it three days straight, got it going, got it running great. I rode it around one whole day. The very next morning, I come got it on it, took it down the road, and, and I went to pull this hill, and it just stopped pulling. The motor, motor was running fine, but it just stopped pulling, and I had to pull it back home. Come find out I stripped the axle. Or not an axle, but a, 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 the the hub that goes over your brakes. It's the way this is made. It's splined, and it, it stripped one of them. Luckily, I got two golf carts here just to lack, so I just robbed the hub off another one. <laughs> it looked like it had been getting that way for a long time, so it wasn't my fault. But that's life, guys. I tell you, it's, there's, uh, there's always some sh shit happening. I got a lot, a lot, a lot of old motor parts around here. Old motors and old motor parts. I even thought about one time about trying to take, uh, I got a 18 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine down there on, on my, uh, one of my old, old lawnmowers. Still runs. As far as I know, it was running when we parked it, but it was starting to smoke. But it would have done too, but it's, it's a horizontal shaft, or whatever you call it, you know, the bottom shaft. And... I know you can turn them motors up on the side and run them if you do some modifications to them. But I really didn't want to get to go into doing all that, you know? Uh, I said 18 horsepower is a little bit much. I don't need that much power. Hell, I got more than 13 horsepower was plenty. And this one coming is going to be 15 horsepower. So, you know. Whew. <sighs> That's a pretty heavy cart. I've added a whole lot of crap to it. It's a lot heavier than my mama's. Uh, the five horsepower on my mama's, or I say five, it's a Predator engine. I think it's like a seven and a half horsepower, or something like that. Probably nine now. But anyway, it, it, it does pretty good on hers, but it, it 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 don't pull hills good. But she ain't got the right belt. If she had the right belt, a real wide belt, it'd make all the difference in the world. Uh, when I had the right belt on mine, it made all the difference in the world. It had a lot of low range torque, but then it had a lot of speed too. And uh, once I broke the belt, uh, and just had to put, put a normal 5 L belt back on it, oh, I, it it's just kind of in the middle of the road now. You know, you, you, you ain't got no speed, and you ain't got no low range. You just kind of got in the middle. But I got another belt coming too, so. It should be here a few days. Damn, this thing's getting expensive. Could have bought one. Well, I couldn't have bought one like this, but I'm having this is just one of a kind. But, but damn, it's, it's a lot of bugs to work through, guys, when you modify something. Always. Uh, but all I want is something as dependable as my mama's. You can come out here any time of the day, jump on this thing, hit the button, and go. And as long as it's got gas in it, it will run perfect just all day long. And cranks with this little lipo battery here <laughs> you know honestly yeah it's still got, still got 24 volts on it right now i keep a check on it when it gets down to about 222 i take it in the house and charge it but it's usually I can usually leave one battery on it for about a week and be riding it every day <sighs> i 
All right, guys, I'm getting off here. I'm finna go ride my mom's car, I guess, in a little bit. This man is down. Have a good one.